Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Malaga Road to Glory career mode here on FIFA 19. Well this December's not as bad as Liverpool's one was it? Like Jesus that was a, a hell of a December we had to get through there. So this one, um, the two games that we're going to focus on are Real Madrid and Villarreal. Reason being is Getafe it's kind of like um, sorted in the fact that we're leading from the first leg so it's not too bad and, and as for Salzburg we're already qualified in, in that anyway to the next round sort of thing so um, with the fact that obviously it's Real Madrid but also Villarreal um, are up in I think it's third are they? Oh, fourth yeah they're in fourth spot so do you know what I mean I just thought like that um, those two games would be like crucial um, considering or uh, I wouldn't say dis I would say disappointment against Valencia I'd say more shock than anything because they they were a great side, um, really played well, and they should in no way be in tenth spot. And it just kind of like threw me, but I should expect that. You know, um, you know they they finished um, in the top four um, last season. So yeah, um, can we um, bounce back um, from that defeat? Um, it's going to be tough. Like I say, Villarreal and Real Madrid aren't going to be um, easy games. Um, but before that, obviously, like I say. Um, we're going to be focusing on um, Getafe in the, the round of 32 of the um, competition that we basically um, are holders of. Um, yeah, we won that last season by beating Barcelona in the final. So yeah, we'll we'll do Getafe. Then it'll be um, back with me with um, Real Madrid. Then we'll do another little highlights for, for Salzburg. Then back with me and then to finish off another highlights with Deportivo. So that is what is in today's um, video, guys. Like... Um, Thank you, as always, for, for tuning in and stuff like that. We're getting pretty close to the January transfer window, and if there's any transfers out there that you know of players and stuff that you feel that we should bring into the side, then please let me know down in the comments. Right, let's crack on um, against Kitafe. Well, that was kind of straightforward here against um, Oviedo. Nicely through to the next round. No drama or anything like that, so that's good. Right, here we are then against um, the mighty Real Madrid. Um, you might notice that there's 68 rated right defender there. Um, yeah, De La Fuente. Yeah, um, interesting. Um, just trying to think. Like, would Ramos retired? Maybe not, I don't know. No Varane, no Varane, Bartra next to him, interesting. Playing um, James Rodriguez out on the right, okay. Oh well, maybe I have a chance with that centre back, but probably not with the rest of the side that they've got, but you never know, you never know. We have beaten um, Real Madrid before at our ground, so um, let's see if we can do that again. So they're going to want to close the gap, it is four points at the moment, this would be a huge win for them, um, put a one point difference between us and it would also help Villarreal out as well, like, you know what I mean, because obviously they're not too far behind either, so and we've got them coming up, like, you know what I mean, so yeah, this is going to be a key game um, in, not necessarily, I'm not even talking of a title challenge, because I think, you know, top four is where we were aiming, so I think we're above it at the moment, but we'll see. Team sheet for the home side. It's good to see um, Pavard back um, after his suspension, which should never have happened. It was just no way was that a red card. Even Lex in the chat is saying it, should, it wasn't even a foul, it was a clear chat. It was, I took the ball, like, you know what I mean? It wasn't from behind, it was side on. Took the ball, don't know what the hell the referee was, was, was looking at, I have no idea. Anyway, back to this game. Here's De Jong into. The Toro uh, tried to get the ball out, but just didn't get out of his feet quick enough. 
Army on now. We get it down to a diamond up against Grimaldo. Keeps it in, does well, good spin. Please pick someone out. Chance, oh, again, De La Fuente, the, the, the so-called rubbish late defender seems to be doing the best at the moment. Inside to Talisca. Why won't you turn round? Jesus, turning it and nothing's happening. Carrasco now, pull it back. Chance, here we go. Oh, how was he nerfed as he got something on that? How? How did he get something on that? That's ridiculous. Oh man, back to Dion. It's not brilliant at his long range shooting. Why is Carrasco here? Why? Stop cutting inside. You give me no width by doing that. Talisca. Does really well. Oh, it just wouldn't fall. Oh, and it's offside, okay. I don't know why Carrasco keeps cutting inside and the same with the Dharma when they're not down. It looks like Kovacic is going to be coming on for Isco. Okay. Going more, that's more of a defensive maybe choice. Oh, my man. It goes Navas in behind. Plays it across. Hmm. Nearly. Oh no, here's a chance. This is when they do this stuff. Here they go. Farman flaps it up, but somehow gets his hand on it. Yeah, this is the danger time now. This is danger time. We've kept Real Madrid at bay, and this is where it all goes wrong. Carrasco's sort of there. Grimaldo. Just get rid of it down there for now, so we can get our players back into position. Oh, Rodriguez, well, oh, no. Romero's done well. Carrasco, get away. Okay. Oh, Latoro's being held up there. Trying to get through. Come on, battle. Ah. Uh, Oh well, nil nil. Wasn't exciting, I'm afraid. Um, but at least we didn't lose. Um, kept another clean sheet. That's something. Uh, I think we should have won it. I honestly do. I think we had better opportunities. We just didn't. Just didn't. Um, that's Gareth Bale there. Why wasn't he playing? And again, he's probably starting to drop down, now, isn't he? Yeah, I think we had more of the opportunities. Yeah, I mean, we definitely had more of the opportunity, but hmm, wasn't the best best of games. Um, as you can see, a 7.7 .7 win in another match that just sums it up, kind of, doesn't it? Really, but we've got next. Well, the live game will be next. I mean, obviously we're playing Salzburg next, but that'll be a highlights one. But we're already qualified in that group, so I might give him. Um, some fringe players a bit of a run out and um, that don't get any game time in this one I think might as well can afford to do so um, yeah so highlights of this one I'll be back for them Villarreal So, 
Weyer, were they? <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that one in there, yeah. I mean, Timothy Weyer there getting a hat-trick, nice to see, but Salzburg just didn't show up, and because of that, they've actually been leapfrogged by Toulouse, and Toulouse will go through to the next round, so that's their own fault, really. I mean, they had the opportunity um, to do something, and they just didn't show up at all. Um, yeah, even though I played some, as you can see, some young players, a couple of uh, Japanese players that I was able to scout and they've, they're coming through now, sort of, it's still only like sort of 60 odd rated or whatever, but it's nice to be able to give them um, a run out. Right, so now we face um, Villarreal, yeah, um, which is going to be interesting because if they manage to pick up a win, not only do they possibly leapfrog Real Madrid, but they... Um, obviously get closer to us so let's be on our toes and um, i've given navas um his like he's going to be in the starting lineup now he's actually even gone up to 85 rated so he's the same rating as Traore now so that's brilliant um so yeah um, he's going to get um, a run out right let's go take on um Villa Royale. right so here are the two lineups as you can see like i said like navas is in for us and um, with regards to Villa Royale playing a uh, so five four one by the looks of it, and looking maybe kind of like a defensive like formation, possibly. But um, they're not third for no reason, so we have to we can't take these too lightly. Even though um, on paper we look better, so um, yeah, let's crack on. So yellow submarine there in the background. They're at home, which also gives him slight advantage, I suppose. Maybe the rain does. I don't know. But, um, let's see if we can um, keep them down in, in third or you know away from us, like aggressiveness. Gerhard, Gerhard's offside. Rika just makes him aware that he's in a game. Oh, what? No way, Davis, how can you give a get? Whoa, hold on. He's already flagged for the offside. You don't give me a free kick after the fact. It's the like, and now it's what? Hold on. Comes over here. He's flagging. What's he flagging for now? Right. So it's not offside. What's he flagging for? The linesman's got his flag up. Has he got some kind of mystic fucking what's he? How's he know I'm going to make that? He's flagging there. I'm not even made the challenge yet. What's he flagging for? Referee, you can see over there is is like sort of wave, waving play on. I can't see what the other the lino is like flagging for there. That's that's just ridiculous. Uh, this game just does me in sometimes. I had a red, red card, like, you know, for, for Pavard last bloody episode, and now, like, if they score from this, then it's just, just bull. I just, no idea what the hell that was all about. Couldn't figure that one out. He's flagging, I thought it was for offside, but looking at it, it wasn't, so I don't know what that was about. Alright. Gudson is Navas now. He's got him behind. We'll call this back. Can, but not to the right player, but it doesn't matter because Carrasco was just stuck it in the back of the net. Well done. He's trying to bring it back for Latoro, but he's actually found Carrasco. And Navas has obviously made um, an impact coming into this first team now. Playing with better quality players around him will help him as well. But he was pulling this back. I was trying to pull it back to Latoro. He sort of steps out of the way. He must have realised, maybe got a shout from Carrasco and, yeah, keepers not reaching that. Great finish. De Jong now. Carrasco still cutting inside, even though he's supposed to be staying out wide. Rika. So this guy's wanting this over the top. You get this across. Navas was coming in, but not able to get anywhere near it. Pavard's there, yeah, good signing, definitely, he's a good signing. Why Carrasco will not do what he's, what he's supposed to be doing? Uh, let's go for, uh, let's go for Carrasco in here, see what his head is like, see if we'll get to him. Well, it actually went to Talisca and has gone in. Well, fair enough, 
You know, that's what I say. Sometimes he, he does amazing things, and then other times he goes drifting off. Well, there you go. He's got a great header there when I wasn't even aiming towards him. Able to push forward. I think they need to change the form. I'm not saying that I want him to push forward, but they need to change the formation. It's just not worked for him. You know, you think that once they went 2 0 down, that the manager would have done something about that. Navas. Oh, he's taken down his penalty. Stark takes him out. Quick feet with Navas and went to slide, like, ball roll it past him and Stark was, like, not having any of that. I'm going to make a change now for them. I don't know if it changes their formation at all, but they are making a change. Right, Carrasco's on the penalties. It was Latoro last time, wasn't it? Is it Carrasco better at taking penalties then? Uh, what's he got? Um, 79, where's... Yeah, he's only got 61. We did all right last time. Well, we'll go with Carrasco then. Buries it. Buries it. Right next to the post, so it's harder for the keeper. I mean, considering Latoro's penalties was only 61, he nailed that penalty in... Which game was it? Was it Valencia? I don't know which game it was. But you know the one where he banged it in the top corner? This is a great penalty from Carrasco here. Bang. On for a hat trick now. He's been a good signing. I recommend him, guys. I do recommend him. He's um, not too bad to pick up. And like I say, his wages and stuff uh, are very... I think it was 27,000 his wages were at China. So he's not going to be asking for a lot when he comes back to Europe. Oh, Teleska. But so far, Villarreal, luckily for us, have been very poor. I don't know how they're, how they're third and Valencia are tenth. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Rika's there and he'll put that out for a corner. Well done. It's a goal kick. Oh, what? What's Martin Tyler on about? So let's go. Going to go over the top to get a Dharma in, but I think he's hit it too long. Yeah, that should be it. It is. Well, kind of disappointed in that Villarreal side. How on earth are they? where they are and Valencia are where they are it does not make any sense whatsoever that does they were very very poor could have been the formation I don't know but they just didn't seem to trouble us at all a little kind of cheap change things um, with a few substitutions but yeah they weren't and um, they weren't brilliant now us picking up man of the match well done to him but no, they kept the same formation. I thought they might have changed it, but no, same formation. Didn't change it. Well, one more game to go, which is against um, Deportivo. Let's see how we get on against them. Oh, what's the point? Is is the Champions League? What have I been drawn? Oh, not Champions League. Europa League been drawn. Oh, here we go. Has it been drawn? It has been drawn. Here we go. Look at above me. Above me. Yes, obviously we're getting drawn out of the pot. And we have got in the round of 32. Can't see us. Oh, there we are. Monaco. Ooh. Okay, we got Monaco. All right, that could be could be an interesting one. It's Thierry Henry's Monaco. And the Champions League draw has been drawn as well. Uh, I can't see Liverpool in there. Liverpool not in, in there. No! Tough group. Missed out by two points. So, is it, oh, did Liverpool go into the... Europa League now. They do, they got Real Sociedad. Hmm. John Toshak's old um, side. Uh, yeah, connection. We've got Monaco. That could be that could be an interesting game, that one. Um don't know how that will go. Depends like what, what players Monaco have still got. Um any other uh, CBG have got Roma. Right, so like I say, um, Deportivo is to come guys.
Well, that was a, an EA game right there. Um, <laughs> one shot on target, it's the back of the net. Look at uh, unlikely for farm, and he nearly got something on it. Well, he got something on it, but it just bounced off him, like sort of his ribs or whatever, and went in. And uh, that was just their goalkeeper was just saving ridiculous like, um, shots and stuff like that. It was just, yeah, it was one of those that was obviously not meant to be. But anyway, there we go. Um, Luckily for us, Real Madrid um, didn't win. They just drew um, their game that they were playing. Um, so there are three points behind us. Uh, yeah, a uh, ah, bit of a somber note to finish the, the episode on, really, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, there we go. Um, where are where are Deportivo? Down in 15th. Uh, they would have been. Oh, they'd have been in the relegation. Like, I can't believe that. How on earth has that happened? Well, yeah. That's just one of those um, situations, right? Um, um, Copa de España has been drawn. We've got Alaves um, in in that one for the round of 16. Thank you very much for, for tuning in. As always, guys, I do really appreciate um, the time that you take to come and watch the videos and comment on them. It means a lot. Um, a thumbs up would be massively appreciated. Is also, um, and I will catch you on the next one tomorrow. Um, what day are we on? Yeah, tomorrow. Liverpool for Friday's episode. Yeah. Um, a little bit easier tomorrow episode. Well, I'll say easier. Not we haven't got all the big guys, have we? But it's more of a Crystal Palace kind of episode tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, with the fact that we're going to be playing them three times. But anyway, you take it easy, guys. Catch you tomorrow. If not, catch you next week for another Malaga one on Tuesday. Stay from me, Monkey Gaming. Signing off. Cheers.